Hi, I'm Steven. I'm Joel. And I'm Hat. And we're from Sabre, heavy metal band based out of Los Angeles, California. Yeah, Strike of the Witch was actually the very first song I ever wrote for my previous band. Recorded it, released it, and did all right, but you know, band didn't go anywhere. Steven checked out the song, he really liked it, but I was still adamant against releasing it. But once we went over to Trevor's to record, they both convinced me and worked on the song a little bit. Came out really great, so we ended up recording it, releasing it, and so far we're getting a really positive review from the audience, so good there. The lyrics for this song were actually inspired by this event that transpired to one of my close friends who was at a bar in downtown, you know, had a couple drinks, so he didn't drive home, he ended up walking home. He didn't live that far, but on the way home, this vehicle got really close to him from behind on the sidewalk, and the guy rolled down the window and started asking some really weird questions, and he was a little weirded out, so he tried ignoring him, but the guy was really, really, you know, trying so hard to get his attention. And my friend started speed walking, the guy just kept going and going, my friend ended up running, he just gunned it out of there. He started hiding behind these walls just to get away and you could hear the guy crying out for him. So he got really scared, waited a couple minutes and made sure the coast was clear, he made it home, safe and sound. So it's just a metaphor for anything that could happen to you know, late at night, you know. We were referred to an artist called Max Tremblay from Trevor who does all his artwork for Haunt. We liked the aesthetic, so we showed him the song and he checked out the lyrics, so he was inspired by the, from what he heard actually. And he showed us the artwork, we loved it, so we gave it a the green light and decided to go with it. Really good art. So at the time being, when we first started, we wanted to seek out someone that is a little bit experienced in recording and producing, as well as um, fixing, fixating on the genre that we play. And we ended up, Working with Trevor, he he's a front man. He's a front man of Han, and he also has experience with digital drums. And at that time, we didn't have a drummer, so it all just fit, and we ended up hitting it off from there. For us personally, yes, because it helps um, with the exposure as well as the business aspect of it. And plus, he also gives us um, freedom to create our music ourselves and just focus on that. We actually had a gig with Grim Reaper and Skullfist lined up in September, but unfortunately due to COVID, that was canceled. And that was really the only gig we had lined up for this year. It was actually supposed to be our very first show ever. Yeah, Traveler's debut album was a really great record. Really like that. Also, Monument of the Dog is amazing. Really good record. Also, Burn the Night by Riot City. Also, Into the Night by Leather Bitch. I mean, you can't also forget Actions, Back in Time, that was a really killer record. Oh, yeah. I mean, it already has. It's postponed a lot of, a lot and many events, not even just from like local bands like us, but like even many bands more known than us. But like, I don't doubt that even when it's all over, like this whole COVID-19 thing, like I'm pretty sure people will be thriving in the metal scene to like have more shows, more bands, more albums out, just, you know, just more hunger for it all. Well, first of all, I'd say every single person in the band supports any foundation and protest against bigotry and racism. We've all donated to foundations for people in great need that have been arrested in any protests. And some of us have actually attended protests ourselves. As for the pandemic, it's really slowed down, not just us, but almost everybody in this world. They slowed down their lives, put it on pause. But us personally, we're still trying to work on our music and try to get something out, hopefully by next year, so we can just move forward, get past this. Pretty much, we gotta finish this full length, and also, as soon as this COVID and quarantine ends, hopefully tour, play as many shows as possible. Thanks again, Antichrist Magazine, for allowing us to do this interview. It was really fun. All of us really enjoy doing it. And make sure to support our band. You can get our merch over at 
favorite band camp and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, you know, to today. And we've got some new music coming out for you guys, so just hang in there. Thanks again.